Boom shakalaka. What's going on guys? Randall here from Crypto Love and today I have an episode about open platform. Now this is one that you guys have been asking about on a couple different live streams. So I put together this video for you talking about what open platform is, a little bit about how it works. But before we do that, just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button. And guys, if you want to find out one of one of these six shirts, just uh, comment on this video or any other videos and you could enter to win. So, Open Platform, they are the first blockchain infrastructure for applications. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically what they're doing is they're making a very simple payment gateway for using your cryptocurrencies on applications, games, different types of things. So think of it as like Stripe or something like that, use for payments. And they're working to make it as simple as possible. Now, they are out of their uh, ICO right now. They just got listed on KuCoin, as you can see up here. But, you know, it's still very early on. I think they just got listed like today. So um, it doesn't have the market cap there. Depending upon the circulating supply, if you base it on the total supply, it would be a $200 million cryptocurrency. But I don't think the circulating supply is equal to the total supply. So somewhere between $100, $200 million market cap on KuCoin. Interesting. So what is open you can watch a short little video talking about it there how it how it works to simplify things in terms of uh, payments for applications but they have a payment infrastructure that solves on-chain payments and it works by doing we'll get to it we'll get to it this right here this is how open technology works and uh, kind of they do this to separate themselves from other applications but basically what we have is we have the application here that's using the open platform API and then the developer of that application if they want to accept payments using open platform and one of the benefits of open platform is that it can be pretty much used for any applications it's not for a specific type of applications it's not for a specific use any developer who wants to can create this scaffold that allow them to accept payments uh, using the open token and then that way they'll be able to get payments um, but what it does is it exchanges access to that um, to that application which is right here on the scaffold so it allows access to that in exchange for an open state and then that open state is stored in the person who purchased its wallet that way that person has access to it so um, basically it's using the open platform to allow people to pay for stuff on applications in a much simpler method than what is available now. Some cool things that I did note about Open Platform. So mentioned Switchio Network down here. Also, it's based off of the Omi's Go SDK. So they're using they're using the technology of other people to help do it. But in order to how the token works in the ecosystem um, is basically the developers in order to create these scaffolds they have to stake some open tokens in order to do that and then um, the open tokens can be used to pay for different types of things on the system so it tells you a little bit more about the open token there um, in terms of the roadmap still pretty early on so they had their white paper published they have a test net and if you want to see the test net you can go up top here and watch the test net mvp video all right it's about five minutes long or so uh, and then also, so they have more stuff. They had a token sale on airdrop. Um, like I said, token sales over. They have coming up soon, developer beta program, open SDKs, and then coming up in a month or two, open 1.0 goes live. So that'll be really interesting, something to look out for. Now, taking a look at the more important thing, the white paper, obviously read white papers before you do anything. This one, pretty easy to read, but it tells you a bit more about what they're doing. And I like how up top, they're just, they're abstract. First sentence, open, making blockchain accessible. So we know the two pain points with blockchain, uh, cryptocurrencies, getting into cryptocurrencies, getting out of cryptocurrencies. Well, getting out of cryptocurrencies, one of those things is how to spend them. You can accumulate them, but sometimes there's difficulty spending. Like, sure, if the person accepts Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever, you can do it. But if you have... I don't know, whatever token you want, Pied Piper coin, and you want to spend that, how are you going to be able to do that, especially for stuff you use? Like maybe you play Clash of Clans all the time. You want to be able to spend your Pied Piper coin on Clash of Clans. That's what Open Platform is aiming to solve. 
and so this will tell you how they do it. So we'll just go through some things here. Basically, they're redoing the current payment infrastructure. So getting rid of all these banks, intermediaries, payment processors, and just making it like this. You know, you just there's the application database, there's open, and there's you. Simplifying it just a wee little bit. Using a decentralized approach, it tells you exactly how, you, how everything works. So they have the open API built on a smart contract compatible blockchain. So that's any, you know, Ethereum, NEO, anyone that accepts smart contracts. Apparently now Bitcoin Cash too in the future, who knows. But um, on top of that, they have open core, which is where the scaffold, genera scaffold generator is and where the scaffolds are. And then, you know, the developer services on top of that, applications on top of that. Now, continuing to go down, they go through the key terms because it is, I, granted, it is difficult to understand all these different um, things with like open state, developer wallet, open wallet, different things. But I think they're just doing that to help you understand how the payment gateways work um, and how the payment gateways differ from traditional payments in doing that. Scaffolds are an important part to understand. So basically, this is an illustration of how it works. There's the user and wallet. So this is you. This is the person, this Devon wallet is the person who created Clash of Clans. You want to use their thing. So basically, you're going to pay using the API. It opens the scaffold, which the developer had to stake some in order to create. And then um, you get this open state in your wallet, which allows you access to Clash of Clans. Uh, and the developer gets paid for that open state. And so that's how it works. Pretty cool getting all the information from the blockchain. Very nice way of going about it. It goes into more technical details and honestly, some of the technical stuff is over my head, so I just kind of skip on that. But it tells you more about open states, open wallets. There's more important stuff that I wanted to get to. Gives you an example of how it works. Talks about developer wallets and open tokens. Um, scalability through token economics. This is the cool thing that I saw here is that they are incentivizing developers to build on top of this. So a great idea is just a great idea without execution. But if you can have developers working on stuff, getting their apps to use this to build those scaffolds, then that'll make this more, um, much more interesting. So that is that in terms of pretty much how it works. The portability, it is very portable because it works with pretty much everything. And then the third party dependencies. So they're using a lot of other technology in order to help all this work. And that's cool because it's using a whole bunch of other internet stuff. So IPFS, Micro Raiden, which is a part of the Raiden network, uh, Omi's Go SDKs, Tendermint, which is um, part of Ethereum, and then Gnosis, Oracleys, and Chainlink. So they're using all of that stuff and Web3 and ETHJS. So all of that stuff. Wanted to put together that video for you guys to tell you a bit about open platform. Seems, uh, you know, the payment platforms are something that need to be worked out. I mean, it's really difficult to pay for stuff in cryptocurrency. So the more adoption there is in paying for stuff in cryptocurrencies, the more that you can do. And this is one that says that they're doing it. You can see they have big social media followings. Also, apparently, I mean, look at some of their uh, partners in capital. So definitely do your research and everything about this before you consider investing in this or any other cryptocurrency because it's not financial advice. Just my opinions. I just make YouTube videos. All right, cool. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, I will catch you next time. All right. Peace.